we're several years at this point to where the politics and the personal can't be separated. You can't separate art from artists anymore. Everybody looks up every opinion you've ever had online and they litmus test you before they ever buy your book. It's maddening as a content creator. I got to tell you that. Because look, I mean, you know, I have I have some opinions that, you know, some might find extreme or whatever. But at the end of the day, like, I mean, they're just my opinions. And if you don't agree with me or whatnot, I still want you to read my books. I still want you to enjoy them. I still want you to have fun with my content. And I try to produce books that, uh, you know, you'll enjoy regardless of your persuasion. It's just kind of is what it is. But with J.K. Rowling, uh, it's been such a cluster over the last couple of years. And with this Hogwarts legacy thing, you've seen so many uh, extreme leftists go out there and go, gosh, yeah, boycott this if you're a good person. You better be a good person. And uh, it's backfiring. And uh, it's, <laughs> a lot of people are reacting to this right now, which I found pretty funny this morning. So let's cover it and listen to it together. All right. My name is John Delarose. If you're new to the channel, I'm a number one bestselling author and award-winning comic creator. And uh, I'm more controversial than J.K. Rowling. That's right. <laughs> J.K. Rowling, honestly, at the end of the day, is still a liberal feminist. And uh, we're actually pushing back against that in culture big time. So I always try to say, like, with a book like it's Flying Sparks, I don't have a strong female lead. I have a feminine female lead. I also have a male lead in it. Now, uh, it, it is a 50-50 kind of split because of the way that the story goes. And if you read it, and if you read about the story between Johnny and Metagirl here, you'll understand exactly why it's formatted the way it is. But honestly, uh, hot chicks on a cover of book sell. So that's why we focus on that character. But we just hit $10,000 this morning. I really appreciate you guys for supporting the channel and supporting our work and culture. If you love superhero actors, Action. This is the type of book that DC Comics used to produce and doesn't anymore. Look at this beautiful cover. I've got that link in the description below, so please back Flying Sparks today and enjoy my awesome content. Thanks, guys. All right, here's the, the hashtag that's trending this morning. I stand with J.K. Rowling. Now, <laughs> it's got a bunch of reactions on here. J.K. Rowling will not be featured in the tw Harry Potter 20th anniversary after her, quote, controversial tweets about transgender people. That's insane because uh, when it is about Harry Potter, I mean, that's her whole deal, right? <laughs> she is Harry Potter. That's the whole freaking thing. It's satisfying to see people waking up to the fact that J.K. Rowling is not transphobic. I don't care if she is or not. Uh, I hope she gets a lot of apologies uh, for those quick to condemn her. I stand with J.K. Rowling correct, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and now they're removing her names from her books, I guess. Crazy. Uh, and here's J.K. Rowling herself. I have, I'm deeply amused to those telling me I've lost their admiration due to disrespect. I show violent, duplicitous rapists. I shall file your lost admiration carefully in the box where I keep missing my missing fucks. So funny. And uh, here's the deal. The boycott went through, and uh, they've been calling for boycotts for weeks. Hogwarts Legacy still the best-selling game on Steam. Oof. And this is why you got to be careful about your political boycotts and stuff like this. Now, obviously, I don't agree with the boycott and all that. I almost, you know, I'm sitting here like I have no interest in playing video games. One, I, I don't like Harry Potter. Two, for other reasons, I could go off in another video. But <laughs> I almost bought this game. And I almost, like, wanted to go play it just because, like, it's like, F these people. It, it is really annoying. But honestly, like, I, I am careful about not doing that either uh, to some extent. And look, I'm not interested in this property. It just is what it is. But I do appreciate that you know, people are standing up to the cancel mob doing things and saying, screw you, we're gonna have our fun anyway, we're gonna enjoy ourselves, and you can't stop us just because you're trying to make us feel bad about like uh, some comments somebody made on Twitter. It's absolutely crazy that we're at this point to begin with. It never used to be like this in history because you know social media didn't exist to look up every statement every person ever made. So <laughs> we're living in weird times where people are absolutely psychotic. And you know what, this is the thing. It backfires because all it does is draw attention to the game. I always, I told people this about Captain Marvel back in the day because Brie Larson is an insufferable bitch, of course. We know this, right? In my opinion. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, of course, Captain Marvel was a terrible movie. It was feminist propaganda. And everybody was complaining about it as it was coming out, like, over and over and over again. Well, they, there was so much Captain Marvel content that it really like propelled that movie to a big success financially. And so you got to look at that. And when you, when you harp too much on something, I'm not saying don't cover it or don't, don't think about it or whatever, because like it, it, you know, I mean, it's the topic of the day, right? But when that happens, like you got to be careful not to like do the marketing of the company for you at the same time. It's a fine line. It really is. And so the leftists failed on this, which is making me laugh at this juncture. But, you know, we as content creators kind of failed at that point, too. So it happens on both sides. It's very interesting to watch. and uh, But it is great to watch the crazy people out there uh, lose their minds over this video game.
It really is. Uh, they deserve to lose their minds. I hope they get madder and madder, and I hope they lose the culture war at the end of the day because we're trying to change things. We're trying to do something different around here, and we're trying to allow people just to have their fun and escapism without getting harassed by people online about, did you know that this person said this? It really is a disgusting thing in culture that that's happening at this juncture. Everybody needs to just simmer down, chill out, and have fun again. Learn to live again. What do you think about that? Leave a comment down below. Hit the like and subscribe button. And I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. If you did, make sure to back Flying Sparks on Kickstarter today. Promise a good book. And I promise you'll be entertained. See you.